Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This will be a love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest, but don't try to make this fit if it's not your reading. Um, it just means it wasn't your reading this time around and maybe next week will be. So we're gonna get right into it for Aquarius. For Aquarius spirit, any messages regarding love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help out the channel a lot, so thank you. For Aquarius, what does Aquarius need to know in regards to love? Spare, what does Aquarius need to know? Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. What does Aquarius need to know for love? Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. What else? Oops. Well, I don't think my... Yeah, I think that's better. What else for Aquarius in regards to love? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Bottom of the deck, you deserve love. You are lovable. Interesting. This up here. See that. So right away, what I see is um, some sort of um, communication needs to take place, um, and a connection. Now, I'm not sure if I'm talking to Aquarius viewers who are single or in a relationship yet. But so far, what I see is. Um, communication needs to happen i think also effort um so not just talking about something but making it happen um now with playfulness here i feel like there's not really strong commitment yet so we'll see if that's the case um would let your friends help you i'm picking up that maybe this is a connection that you're making through your friends through coworkers, um through a group of people so we'll see what the tarot has to say. Aquarius, please. I'm using the tarot of the golden wheel today. What does Aquarius need to know, spirit? In regards to love. What does Aquarius need to know? In regards to love. I'm just going to be doing a simple past, present, future spread for these monthlies. Taking it back. Oh wait, I want to cut the deck. So hold on. Just do another shuffle and then I'll cut the deck. Aquarius, please. Regards to love. Let's see what's going on for you. Six of Swords. Okay. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Let's see what we get for you. Ten of Pentacles reversed. So this is all in the recent past. I feel like someone has left some sort of commitment here. A partnership. Something here is not stable, not secure. Probably a broken commitment here. Or family or financial issues. We'll see when I clarify. In the present here, we have the King of Cups reversed. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy there. Hangman reverse. Temperance reverse. So right now, I don't think anything is really working out for you, Aquarius, in regards to a connection. Something requires more patience and a whole new way of thinking. 
something is not coming together. And I feel like you're either emotionally blocked or you're dealing with someone who's emotionally blocked, possibly manipulative. But with the hangman reverse right here in the center of the spread, it's like someone doesn't want to give something up. They want to hold on to something like in a stubborn way. Possibly dealing with this connection, like this partnership here with the lovers. So what's coming up in the recent future? Five of Wands, okay. Or in the near future, I should say, not the recent future. The near future. Oh, let me move this. You guys can see better. Two of Wands, a path will need to be chosen here. I'm also seeing budding heads, you know, because of this deck. It might not be an easy choice to make. And Knight of Swords, communication coming in fast. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ooh, Page of Cups. Interesting. So someone's expressing how they feel or expressing or extending an apology to you. We'll see. Okay, let's get into this. Let's start with this page of cups. I want to know what this page of cups is about for Aquarius. What's this page of cups about? Ace of swords and three of swords reverse. So this could very well be an apology. Um, communication is very important here. I, I keep getting that message. Ace of Swords and then Three of Swords reverse. It could be an apology for a third party or it could be an apology because they want to heal something here. Heart to heart conversations, open and honest communication there. So let's see, let's get into this. Tell me, somebody even asked my question. Tell me about the Six of Swords, please. This is someone um, leaving something behind, a difficult situation behind to have something more stable, more solid, more peaceful. Tell me more about the Six of Swords, please. Seven of Cups reverse. So no longer any confusion, no longer any um, doubt or I'm also getting like, someone wasn't sure what to do, but that's no longer the case. There was there was a different options that someone was thinking about, but they ended up choosing one. And I'm also picking up, it was an emotional decision. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Knight of Wands and Seven of Wands Reverse. So you're going after something here, Aquarius. This is someone who has given up the fight, is no longer defensive or guarded, um, is willing to I guess surrender. But I think you gave up the fight for a reason because you wanted something else. You wanted to head towards something else. Have You're motivated by something else. And you're gonna take charge here of the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Now, this is a past, present, future spread for you, Aquarius, but this could also be about your person or whoever is coming your way as well. Tell me about the lovers. The lovers is all about a choice made um, between two people, between the head and the heart. Excuse me. Tell me about the lovers. For Aquarius, please. Why is the lovers here? Wow, okay. The magician reversed. What else can you tell me about the lovers? What else can you tell me about the lovers? Eight of Wands, Reverse, King of Swords, Reverse. 
This is a very difficult person here with um, the Magician reverse and the King of Swords reverse. Very manipulative energy. Someone you can't really trust. And with the Eight of Wands reverse, either the movement has been completely stopped. You weren't able to manifest something or the communication is just blocked. King of Swords reverse, not a good communicator. Very cold, very distant um, energy. And also they don't really care how they hurt others. They don't, it doesn't fact, like it's not a factor for them and how they behave. So I feel like because of this, someone's either evaluating the choice they made in their partnership or um, maybe they need to it's almost like this is somebody who keeps making the wrong choice when it comes to, to people, to love. And I feel like, I feel like this, it, this had to happen for you to realize that. Is that the fool at the bottom here? So this choice is a risk for someone. This this um, this new beginning. Someone wants to leave behind this King of Swords reverse energy. This Magician reverse energy. Again, with the Seven of Wands reverse, you're no longer interested in fighting, defending yourself. I feel like that's over and done with. Like you've done enough of that. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse. about the ten of pentacles reverse please yeah ten of wands completely letting go of this burden whatever didn't work out for you in the past has been a burden it could be financial it could be a financial burden you're um, experiencing right now or dealing with a lot of responsibilities a lot of obligations tell me more about the ten of pentacles Yeah, the fool. Yeah, this is definitely um, giving something up for a new beginning here. And this has happened in the recent past, most likely for um, a lot of you where you've decided to take a risk elsewhere because something else wasn't working. The star reverse. Yeah, it's possibly, um, there you are, Aquarius, by the way. But possibly you were thinking that the situation was hopeless, that there was no longer anything here for you. And so you decided to just leave, leave this situation behind. Either you did this or someone did this. You know, if this is someone that's coming towards you that you haven't met yet, they're going through this right now and leaving all of this behind. This could be someone that has left you behind here, Aquarius or you left someone behind. It could be any of those things. Let's see, what's this King of Cups reverse about? Got the Page of Pentacles that came out here. What's this King of Cups reverse about? Four of, Four of Pentacles. Interesting. It's like someone's very guarded and the other person's trying to make an offer here. Tell me about the King of Cups reverse. Now this King of Cups reverse, it's not somebody that I would trust. Like I said, um, High Priestess came out here. Something secret hidden here regarding this offer. I wouldn't trust whatever the King of Cups reverse says. They're master manipulators. Um, or they're just so emotionally blocked that they can't make good decisions. They don't really have the best intentions because their intentions aren't clear even to themselves. So if this the King of Cups is the one making this offer, then, um, you know, there's something here that's hidden about it. It could be that this is someone that has held back from you. Either there was little communication or um, no communication between you. Maybe their feelings were hidden. They were guarding their heart. This could be you as well. Um, and then here comes this, this offer. 
This is a, a very small offer with the Page of Pentacles, something like let's go out on a date, but still it's it's a, a potential for something solid. But like I said, because the High Priestess is here, something's a little bit, you know, like uh, be careful, use your intuition. Tell me about Temperance Reverse. This is something that's not coming together. Needs more time. Patience is needed. Oh, this flipped up. Eight of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Again, the walking away. Another card for walking away. And another card for like a third party possibly here. We have the Three of Swords Reverse and now the Three of Pentacles. Um, I feel like maybe a departure is slow in, in coming or, or someone's delayed in their departure. Um, I feel like someone is walking away to build something else, to work with someone else here. Or like I said, there could be um, too many people involved. Maybe a third party involved there. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. So it could very well be that someone's been wanting to give you this cup and it hasn't really come together for them yet. Or they're, um, maybe someone's walking away towards new love. Um, it could also be that someone here is uh, having a lot of love for someone but still walking away from them because it's no longer working out here. Things aren't mixing well with the temperance reverse can you get one more for the temperance reverse eight of swords someone's really thinking about this in their head about this and again i have the ace of cups at the bottom either you or someone else is really in their head about love an offer of love the opportunity for new love um there's probably fear, uh, you know, feelings, um, someone's feeling confined or backed into a corner, trapped in a situation. I feel like no matter what is happening here, Aquarius, no matter if this is you um, going through this situation or someone else is going through this situation that you're involved in, whatever is happening here, I feel like there's no communication about it or very little communication. Like, I feel like communication has to happen to bring some clarity or an enlightenment here. Almost like there's, there's someone overthinking because they don't have all of the answers. Yeah, there we got the Knight of Cups flipped over. Tell me about the Two of Wands. There's definitely conflict that's coming your way here. Um, difficulties in the near future. Fights, arguments. Tell me about the two of wands. Tell me about the two of wands. Knight of Pentacles. So someone's trying to decide about an opportunity here, an offer. I feel like they're in their back of their mind, they're thinking, how do I balance things out? How do I make things right again? This could be this page of cups here, wanting to communicate. But someone here is trying to decide, you know, which path to go on. This is a big opportunity here. We got the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. So this is an opportunity that's slow in coming, but now that it's here, now you have to like really choose. This could be um, a job offer or it could be uh, an offer of commitment from someone. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. This is like finally the communication that you've been needing. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Cups. And then we have the Ace of Wands reversed with it. A lot of emotion, um, genuine love here, but also not able to manifest a new beginning or a new beginning unable to begin. 
Maybe there's a delay and a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands reversed. I get one more for the Knight of Swords. The Chariot. Cancer energy with the Chariot. This is moving forward towards victory. And then bottom of the deck, Justice. Are you kidding me? I think towards the end of the month, there's going to be a shift here. Or even after the end of this month, because this is the near future. There's going to be communication that comes in, possibly unexpected or that takes you by surprise. Um, and it's going to be an offer, possibly, of love here or the beginning of new love. Even though something's not going to be able to be manifested at the same time. It's, a, it's going to be almost like a compromise. But this is going to propel you forward. If, if you've been wondering if your relationship will progress forward, this is it right here. Things are going to be balanced and fair to you. And there's going to be success and movement forward with the chariot. Cancer energy, Libra energy here. Very interesting. And it's funny because even though I have um, the Ace of Cups here, and even though I have the Fool, and what else do I have? These two offers here, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. I feel like this isn't real in the lovers. I feel like this isn't really like a love reading in the sense of there's so many moving parts here. There's something that I feel like hasn't really like crossed the threshold. Like maybe it's been building up, but, but it hasn't actually become something real yet. You know, maybe you guys have been talking to each other or have your eye on each other. Maybe there was a separation in the past and now you're talking again or something like that. But nothing has officially happened. And I feel like it hasn't happened because certain communication needs to take place here. We got all aces that came out in your reading in some form. And I think there's a new beginning for you in, in love, just in general, Aquarius. I do see that. I see, you know, two cards here walking away. Um, even if it's difficult, there's there's people that are, or a large majority of you that are walking away towards a new beginning here and dropping a burden. And then when, when you do that, there's like new opportunities that are coming in the midst of some chaos. <laughs> That's what I see. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching, for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I'll see you in another video. Take care.